right, good morning, guys. It is Friday, and I am here live with you. Um, sorry about last week, but I made a really quick trip home to Yuma. And if you saw my post last week um, where I was standing in the doorway, uh, good morning, Gail. Nice to see you. It always feels weird to say that, like, because I don't actually see you, but I'm glad you're here. <laughs> um, but I went home to Yuma and um, we're building a casita in the back of the house, next to the house. I'm not sure how you would say it. Um, and so that's where I was in the casita. And I think the casita is going to have the name um, the crafting casita. In the paperwork, it says craft room, but um, I keep calling it a casita because that's what it is. But I think, I don't know, crafting casita. So super excited about that. But happy everybody is here. And a couple things. I left a couple of the cats in the craft room in here. And so hopefully they don't jump on the table. And if they do, we'll just go with it. So today I wanted to do something a little summery still. The calendar still says it's summer. Um... You know, the two places I hang out, Yuma and South Texas, still summer. So, um, pretty, it was really, really nice yesterday, actually. There was a football game. We're sitting outside. It was really, really nice. But, um, yeah, summer, definitely still here. So, I pulled out what I'm pretty sure is my favorite bundle or sweet in the annual catalog, Sweet as a Peach. I am totally in love. Hi, everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a great Friday morning. Um, I love the, the greetings or the sentiments and the different fonts. So along with the peaches, which just makes me want to eat peach cobbler. So um, I haven't yet, but maybe you'll have to see. Um, but a uh, Good greetings and good font, uh, you know, I'm a sucker for, and we all know that I'm just really a sucker for all stamps, so. But here's the card we're gonna be making today. And I have a little ulterior, ul ulterior motive about using this suite too. So here is the card we're gonna be making. It's, a, I think maybe they call this a Z fold, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is the one we're going to be making today. Cute, right? It stands up. So what we need to do that is we are going to take some balmy blue and it's your regular cardstock. Fold it in half or your regular card base and Surprise, surprise, I have my bone folder here today. Whoop, whoop. And then we're gonna take one of the flaps and we're gonna fold it over again. Or, um, and this one I did not score, but the sample I scored, make sure. Um, and so you could score it at, I wrote it down at two and one eighth. Um, you know, I've talked about it before, fractions, right? I have to really start thinking about the eighths. When it comes to the quarters, I'm pretty good, but when I have to start counting eights and stuff, it gets a little, takes me back, right? Good morning, Diana, nice to see you. So um, today, I'm not gonna use my paper trimmer because I got it already cut, that way, and it didn't forget it, but um, I took two strips of the same designer series paper and we're gonna put be putting one on the front. Oops, I'm gonna roll this. Nope, roll it some more. There we go. I'm gonna put one on the front and then make sure the peaches are going the correct way. like so. And then I use the same designer series paper and I'm gonna use the other side and put it on the um, inside here. I just wanted to give it a little extra 
something. You don't have to, but I definitely love to use um, designer series paper. Chop it, chop it, chop it, right? We're gonna chop all our designer series paper. So there's that one. And then what should we do next? Let's do some stamping. So one thing I love about Stampin' Up! is the coordination. I love that I don't have to think about it too much. So um, with this designer series paper, Pear Pizzazz, Calypso Coral, and Pale Papaya. So we're gonna get those guys out. And I'm actually gonna bring out some markers. So I don't know about you guys, but I tend to like be on, um, I'll use a, a technique and do it again and again, but, and then I kind of forget. I haven't brought my markers out in a really long time. Actually, when I was looking for my markers in this space that we've been since May, I was like, where are my markers? I had to think about it. So, um, because I stamped this sample and then I was like, mm, on a true peach, this isn't the stem isn't actually green, right? It's brown. So let's get out the markers and do that. But what we're gonna do first, obviously, is do the peach. And I had it go off the paper a little bit. And I started at the bottom. Woo, did you guys see that? I almost lost it. Okay, so we're gonna ink that guy up. I started at the bottom and like so, and then I did the top, and that way I could space out the middle as to like, in the middle. And like so, so there you go. Now this ain't, or this stamp does have a kind of a distressed look, um, so you have a uh, shading, right? So the stamp is helping you with the not the way the shade is, the way um, like when the sun would hit it. So the marker, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take the brush side. I love the, the brush side pretty much for everything. And we're going to put it on the stem and I'm going a little bit in to the leaves. And then I'm gonna take the pear pizzazz and go over the leaf like so. Just wanna make sure you get every spot covered and then stamp. And I, this is where I'm, um, the leaves definitely went off the paper, but I think it's okay, whoops. So you guys let me know what technique or what item are you gravitating towards right now? Are you, usually it's like stuff that's sitting on your desk, right? Like, oh, we all know I had a thing for the, um, I still have a thing, but for the scalloped uh, contour dies, right? I was using those over and over and over again. Markers, you guys are probably gonna see markers now. Why? Because they're sitting on my desk and I know where they are. There's that. One more, I don't know if I could. And it actually tells you, here's the brush side and there's the fine point side. I was just, oops, I almost started going on the leaf with that, what color is this, crumb cake. All right. So let me tell you guys about the ulterior motive for me pulling this out. So um, I'm gonna be sending out an email today and I am doing a card class to go. So I keep calling it a handful of different things. I'm trying to stick with a card class to go. And uh, so <laughs> I'll take a picture of it and put it in the comments here, but I'll show you I have it on a post-it note on my wall in front of me. Um, and it says, card class to go, repeat after me, card class to go. 
when I was writing it out yesterday, getting ready for this video, it made me think of um, when we were in elementary school and you used to have to write out the like, I will not talk in class. I will not talk in class the 25, 50, whatever times. Um, but so back to the card class to go. Um, like I said, I'll be sending out an email. I'm going to be sending you guys um, card kits and product. And I did one last month with Christmas. And this month, because summer's still on the calendar, I thought, let's do this. Let's um, get some birthday cards or thinking of you cards ready before we seriously dive into the fall. And um, standards, huh? Hmm. St I can't remember. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, you get four card kits, two of each. And I send you all the little components. I'm gonna show you some samples here after we're done. Um, the email will, will have a, what do you call it? A PayPal link. So that way um, I ship everything to you. And then if you wanna buy the bundle, which is the Sweet as a Peach stamp set and the dies, and these are not all the dies because I'm using some of them for other things, but you can cut out the, um, this is really cute, I'll show you. Um, it's like a grouping of peaches with the leaves and stuff. Really cute. Okay, so this we're going to stamp thanks so much because I always need thank you cards. So Facebook Lives are a great way to get thank you cards. And then we're going to get out the um, Stampin' Emboss machine. And we're going to use, you guys like my organizing tip? These are the ones we're using today. These are from um, the seasonal labels. So seasonal labels is a great um, die set from the holiday catalog. So we're gonna use, <clears throat> this is Calypso Coral, and we're cutting this out like so. We're gonna do them both at the same time, hopefully. And this guy, like so. There we go. You guys all know I love a good label. Anything that I can layer that just makes it um, pop a little bit more um, on board for. So we're gonna take those out. Put this over here. In my trash, get rid of this. And this we're going to just um, use regular seal for. There's no dimensionals on this guy because I want it ready to mail. Get the cat hair off. You guys let me know, do you, um, do you guys craft with your animals? I thought it was a good idea to have the kittens in the room with me when they were smaller. Notice I said the word kittens. <laughs> now they're big cats and they take up a lot of room in my craft space. I mean, I love them, but there's a lot of them <laughs> and they're big now. <laughs> so you guys let me know, do you craft with your animals in your um, craft space? So for bling, we are going to use these blue adhesive backed gems. And these guys are, um, they're super shiny. Can you see all that bling right there? So this is um, this Night of Navy and Balmy Blue, I think are the two colors that are tagged. Stampin' Up! has tagged. But really in the light, they're kind of just blue changing because they just sparkle so much. So you know what I'm gonna do first before I do that? I'm going to adhere it 
to the flap. And again, I think like my last Facebook Live, you always wanna do just the part that's going on the paper. So, like so. We're gonna put that guy in the middle, like that. There we go. Make sure there's no adhesive on the back side. You could, it's kind of a tricky situation, right? Sticky, a sticky, tricky situation. So you just wanna make sure that you don't get any on the flap or on the back side. And then we're just gonna place some of these guys, big, little, doesn't matter. Use your, your pick tool. I always tend to do three, but I think maybe, I don't know, is three too much? It's too good? I think two might be it for this guy. You notice how you always look at a card and you're always like, hmm, I should have done this, hmm, should have done that. That's a great thing, you can always recreate it, right? <laughs> yeah, Diana, dogs and barking. I have one cat right now stuck in one of the other rooms that they're not really supposed to be in. And at the beginning of the video, he was crying. But every time I open the door, he won't. I'm not going to chase him because then it's a game, right? So, um, he's, yeah, he's on the other side of the wall crying. But hopefully you guys can't hear him. So, this is Sweet as a Peach uh, bundle. And hopefully you guys will look at the email that's going to be coming out today. Like I said, um, you get... You're gonna be getting some ribbon, some bling, some designer series paper, the Europe Peach. So this guy right here. Um, and a few other goodies. And then, you're oh, you're gonna be getting card kits for, these are some of the cards, these aren't all of them. So this one, whoop, what is this? Yep, contour, scallop contour, scallop contour, yeah. There's this one this one and then there's um, a couple more that you're gonna be getting well one more but keep a lookout for that email it will be sent out later today and let me know if you guys have any questions thank you guys very much for being here I love my Facebook Fridays when they work out when I'm in my craft space I'm just happy right how can you not be happy when you're in your craft space um okay Everybody, you guys have a great Friday, and I will talk to you later. Bye.